next song, which is the last song on the album, track six, is called This Little Apple. <laughs> it's also the title track of the album itself. Um, I must say, I wrote a lot of these songs in Greece, in Athens, where I spent the year in 2021, but this song was written fully and wholeheartedly here in my home in Sydney, in Australia. Um, it was written really quickly and quite spontaneously on an acoustic guitar that is somewhere in this house. Um, it's a deep track, but it's also a painful, uh, written from, a, I guess, a painful time of, of, of my history or my life. Um, it's about, yeah, just feeling like you're sinking in every possible way. Mentally, maybe physically, my health was deteriorating, um, as it does sometimes for me and for many people. People suffer from all sorts of things out there, and it's unfortunate. Um, but for me, I guess it was about my mental health and about depression, anxiety, and all that stuff that is not often talked about. Um, but there's a lyric in there, it's like, um, but I'm bound by the hand, the hand of time and sinking sand. And everyone's asking, even my mother asked me, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? And why did you write it? And why did you phrase it that way? It's basically me being dependent on someone for help. Uh, the hand could be the hand of a mother, the hand of a father, the hand of a friend. It's like a support, a, a hand of support or a helping hand. Um, why I've said it, I'm bound by the hand, the hand of time and seeking sand, because I felt like um, at the same time I was getting the help. But on the flip side of that, I felt controlled. And on the other side of that, I felt like I was sinking. So it's all those elements put into into that line and into this song. So this song is just about feeling very different from my surroundings, my family, my friends, and everyone. I mean, how different can you feel, right? Um, I guess it was my problem in the end that I, I was suffering from anxiety and depression and various other things were going on inside and outside of me. Um, and when you're going through such a difficult phase, you don't really often see the truth or the light, but there is. I am proof that there is light at the end of the tunnel because um, I pulled through and I am much better now. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, so one more thing I'll say about this this little apple, uh, the song This Little Apple. Uh, when it says this little apple has fallen far from its tree, it plays on that or it toys with the idea of like that parable saying, that age old saying, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, so when I say in the song itself, the apple has fallen far from a tree, uh, its tree, it's just saying I'm different, um, basically. Whereas the, the saying authentically means that you're just like your family, just like your friends, you're just like everything that's genetic in you, like your father and everything that's genetic in your mother is imprinted onto you. It's just saying, yeah, I felt completely different to that and to them. And yeah, feeling unique. My creativity has helped me a lot in my life. Um, writing songs has helped a lot. I've met some really cool people as a result of that. And my friends are so encouraging to towards me and to pursue my dream in, in this funny, but up and down industry of music. Um, but I will stay consistent and persistent and keep going because it brings me a lot of happiness to do this. Thanks for listening. <laughs> this little apple is out <laughs> digitally everywhere on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. Um, Everywhere you get music from, I'm sure you'll find it. And yeah, thank you so much. Much love. It's fallen far from its tree. Oh, oh,